So this is that? Yep. That's normal speed. Okay, so this is what it would be on, a, this is standard color computer three speed. Yep, yep. You power it up, you punch this in, this is normal speed. Does it have the high speed poke? Yeah. So we can do that. Look at that, that's so much faster. Okay, and then what can it do? That's, that's it right there. That's okay. Approximately 16 gigahertz. Oh, so the high speed poke is a really high speed poke. Yes. Okay. And then what this is, is running from that. And who's doing this? It's uh, Gary Becker. He is working on the Coco Gemi, and it's John Kent's 6809 core. And what is this little device? This is the Altera D1 board. So it is programmed to think that it's a Color Computer 3 with a gimme chip and all the I.O. and everything. Correct. And extended, super extended color basic already loaded onto it as if it's living in ROM, just like a real machine. Coco 3 ROMs are residing in the actual ROM. The actual ROM. The actual ROM. Any modifications to the ROM required? Does it really nope. think it's a Coco? It's the mess ROMs. Which is the Coco 3 ROM. Yeah, it's a real ROM. Wow. And this is the Altera platform. Gary's, since it's VHDL, Gary's working on the, uh, or he started it on the Xilinx platform. So it supports multiple platforms. So when all the color computers are dead and no longer power on, we're, we're at the level where it can live on as programmable hardware. Yep. Wow. Very cool. Software created, creating hardware.